So there's righteousness by faith. There's victory over enemies. There's through him all nations will be blessed. Uh, then there's Abraham is blessed to be a blessing. So in, in Genesis 12, 2, God says, I will bless you and you will be a blessing. So Abraham blessed Lot. He blessed his own household and so on. Even the household of Abimelech, who was a Gentile, was blessed. Uh, so in, in, he, in Romans 4, verses 11 to 16, I'll, I'll read this. It says this, for if those who are of the law are heirs, faith is made void and the promise made of no effect. What promise? It's the promises in the Abrahamic. Verse 15, because the law brings about wrath, for where there is no law, there is transgression. Now, verse 16, therefore, it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed. Not only those who are of the law, but those who are of faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. So that promise of blessed to be a blessing, that's not just for Father Abraham. That's for all those of faith. That's for you today in the new covenant. What a powerful covenant this is.